my student this is ninth class and in this we will discuss today about the chapter number 4 of geography that is climate so let we have to start our chapter what is climate climate is a characteristic condition of atmosphere near the earth surface at a certain place on the earth it refers to the sum total of weather conditions variations over a large area for a long period of time it is the long term weather of the area which remains at least about 30 years now we will discuss what is weather you know well about uh, climate just now you have seen now what is weather weather refers to the state of atmosphere over an area at any point of time the element of both weather and the climate are same it is the combination of temperature humidity precipitation wind and cloudiness and the other atmospheric conditions at a specific time you can say that weather may change in 24 hours many times but climate it uh rest about 30 years long period clear now we will discuss what is monsoon the word monsoon is derived from the arabic word mausim which literally means the season monsoon refers to the seasonal reversal in the wind directions during a year the world is divided into the number of climatic regions the climate of india is described as monsoon type of climate this type of climate is found in south and southeast asia but there are the precipitable regional variations in the climatic conditions within the country the two important elements are the temperature and precipitation often vary from place to place and season to season means of it the temperature is a differ from a place to other place and season to season you can see in the winter there is a, a less temperatures uh, may be recorded clear now precipitation precipitation varies in the forms its different forms types and amount and seasonal distribution it is the form of snowfall snowfall in the upper parts of himalayas it rains over the rest of the country the annual precipitation varies from 400 cm in meghalaya to less than 10 cm in meter in ladakh and the western rajasthan most part of the country receive rainfall from june to september but tamil nadu coast gets rain during the october and november rainfall generally decreases from east to west in the northern plain these variations have given rise to the variety in the lives of the people their food their clothes their customs their houses also this map is showing the variation of precipitations in the different parts of the country you can see the index here this is the index uh, the uh, yellow color is showing the precipitation uh, more than 400 and here is uh, this is the which is brown color which is showing the precipitation between 400 to 800 and the green color 800 to 1600 mm and it is the above to the blue color is showing above to 1600 mm clear means 160 cm se zyada jo rainfall areas hain wohi show kar raha hai clear and the yellow color is showing less than 400 mm rainfall now we will see 
the difference in temperature in summer the temperature in the parts of rajasthan the uh, desert is 50 degree centigrade and it is around 20 degree centigrade in pahalgam in jammu kashmir on a winter night temperature at dras dras is a place there dras in jammu kashmir may less than minus 45 degree centigrade and at trivanantpuram which is in kerala it may be of 22 degree centigrade in some places temperature between the day and the night temperature differs in the thar desert it rises to 50 degree centigrade in a day and drop down to near 15 degree centigrade in nights means in the starting of the morning ye starting se hi jo hai pure din mein iska temperature 50 degree centigrade tak reh jata hai pure desert area ka aur raat mein ye 15 degree centigrade tak bhi gir sakta hai aur 15 degree centigrade par aap jante hain ki thand hoti hai hai na yes but in andaman and nicobar group of island or kerala there is no much difference in the day and night temperatures now student we will discuss about the factors affecting climate related to the location first latitude second altitude relief features third fourth is distance from the sea fifth is the himalayan mountains sixth is distribution of land and water these are the different factors which affect the climate of any area second side which which are related to the air pressure and wind first is surface pressure and wind second is upper air circulation third is the western cyclones now we will discuss these factors differently first is latitude latitude is the distance a place lies north to south of the equator and is measured by an imaginary line which is called latitude latitudely you know if the number of latitude is increasing from the zero degree to the pole whether that is the northern pole or the southern pole it is seen the difference in the temperature next altitude altitude about you know altitude means height so temperature decreases from low to high altitude means agar low altitude hai kam unchai hai to temperature zyada rahega aur agar high altitude hai unchai zyada hai to temperature ghatta chala jayega clear you can see in the map here is a low altitude which is the arrow showing and high altitude you can see there is also written a word decrease in temperature means there is a difference will be found in the location of the two different places means if the darjeeling at high, at a height so its temperature will be less and if the agra is in the plain area and on the low altitude its temperature will high clear now next we will discuss the distance from the sea here you are seeing simla delhi mumbai kolkata chennai which have a different location these are the different cities which have its they are uh, different locations and according to their location we can see that uh, there is a variations in the temperature of these areas because of their distance from the sea is differ mumbai chennai kolkata are near to the coast of the oceans or the seas whether delhi and simla are uh, 
valley in the plain area and Simla in the hill areas. So there will be a difference in the temperature. Helium. Now we will discuss low and high pressure. You can see, uh, you know well also that how uh, the pressure and the temperature are related to each other. They are correlated. If the temperature will high, the pressure will low. If the temperature is low, the pressure will high. Clear? So, it is seen that in the summer season, in the summer season, the low pressure situation is seen on the land. So, the wind will blow from the oceans to the land. Clear? Now we will discuss the Coriolis effect on the climate of any area. This effect produced due to the rotation of the earth causes all the moving objects in the northern hemisphere including the air mass to deflect the right and those is the southern hemisphere to move to the left. This Coriolis effect is absent at the equator. Coriolis force prevents a direct simple flow from the equator to the poles. This is known as the Ferrell's law. Means when our earth rotate, it create a force that is called the Coriolis force. According to this, if the earth move from west to east, the Coriolis force effect was seen to the western direction and it is most of so, uh, seen on the poles areas. Rest of part of this uh, video we will discuss in the second video.